All right, here it is. Man, yeah. it's a it's a beautiful bike. Yeah, it is. This bar is all the best of both worlds. I, I literally have never done a manual machine. All right, so the place I knew I was gonna find YouTubers was of course the box tent. Okay, I, I have one question for you. Hey everybody, Josh here with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. It's three o'clock in the morning. I've got my bike packed up right here. All my stuff ready to go for a weekend away. That can only mean one thing. It's time to get down to California, check out Sea Otter for the very first time. Let's load up this bike. Let's get going. Can't forget you. So I made it to the airport and there's an important question you might be asking because I would ask it too. And that is why go to Sea Otter? I know a lot of you watching this have never heard of the Sea Otter Festival or even been there before. And in fact, I've heard about it, but I've yet to go. Basically, this really kicks off the mountain bike season. Sea Otter takes place right at the beginning of April. It's when all the mountain bike brands are announcing their new products for the year, their new bikes, kind of all the stuff that's going on. And really, it kind of kicks off the fact that summer is here in the United States and riding season has officially begun. So for me going to Sea Otter, the big why is, well, kind of a few reasons. Number one, there's gonna be a ton of YouTubers there. And it's super fun to connect and see everybody and just check out how things are going. Number two is to go spend some time with my sponsors, NS Bikes and FSA. It's gonna be great to check out their tents and meet a lot of the people behind the scenes. As you guys saw before, uh, you gotta check out FSA and do a full tour of what's going on there. Be sure to check it out. Uh, but for the NS Bikes guys, I still haven't met them because they're from Poland. So I'm excited to hang out with them and get to know them a little bit. And reason number three is it's just a whole lot of fun. Anytime you get a bunch of companies or mountain bikers who just get the culture and are hanging out to ride bikes and talk about them, you're gonna have a good time. Time to get on the plane. Let's get over there. Got the bike, got my bag. Now we just need to get a rental car and wait for Paul the punter to show up. What to do until then? Eh, I'll just figure something out. Later. All right guys, got my rental car. Sitting by the airport waiting for Paul. He's probably gonna be ready to pick up in about 20 minutes, which isn't a ton of time. But I thought, why not try to put my bike together for my bike bag? Some of you might say that's stupid, but I call that a challenge. So let's get to it. All right guys, took me about 12 minutes start to finish. Just need to pump up the tires, check the shock air pressure. Besides that, make sure the derailleur shifting good and I think we're good to go. All right, I gotta do those things, load this up, go get Paul, let's do it. Story, because he had one job. Nice Here glasses, Paul. There you are. You had one job, Josh. Absolute chaos. 12 seconds later. Paul, you've been in the car for two minutes and all you've done is complain. But <laughs> I got Paul. We're on our, our way to Sea Otter. We're, we're on our we're on we're our road. Road. We're on <laughs> I'm stoked, man. I can't I can't actually wait. So this is actually a really fun festival. Out of all the festivals, this is normally the fun one. So Paul, real quick, what should I be expecting from Sea Otter? Like give me like a one minute flyover uh, uh just a lot of it's just a lot of people yeah and i think if you're into like the new gear and stuff then it, this is the one to go to because there's a bunch of new stuff like there's new one-up bars there's new e13 stuff i'm sure fsa has got new stuff yes they do yeah ns is going to be showing their new full suspension bike that i'm going to be on which i'm pretty excited Ooh. Yeah. they've already kind of showed it but now you can see it maybe ride it you can put you can see it in the flesh so that's pretty neat all right paul enough messing around let's get to see otter Get checked in, get ready to go. I'm stoked. One eternity later. 
All right, guys, so we actually made it. We got our parking spot, got our media passes. That's right, I'm official now. And uh, now it's time for me to go join Paul on his channel, because Paul has a great video idea. It's where we're gonna go around Sea Otter and compete. That's right, me versus Paul, Daily versus the punter. Check it out here, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Should be a lot of fun. So uh, let's go do that, and then after that, I'm gonna take you guys around and go see what uh, what Sea Otter has to offer, and it's all, all of its glory. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys, we are back. Just got done filming with Paul. Again, if you haven't yet, click the little eye over there. You can see the video that we made. The competition was pretty stiff. It was a lot of fun, and I think you're gonna be surprised at who won. Anyway, I'm just gonna uh, go into the Sea Otter. There's a couple things I need to do. Obviously, I'm gonna stop by the booths of my two sponsors, FSA and NS Bikes. Pretty stoked to say hi to those guys. Along with that, I need to pick up my race registration because tomorrow I'm gonna be racing in the downhill hardtail open, which I'm pretty stoked about. But along with that, I just want to talk with you guys about the coolness that is Sea Otter. Um, I'd seen so many videos on it. I'd seen people talk about the great experience, but once you're here, it's it's even better than you would think. So we're gonna walk around. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of subscribers, YouTubers, professionals. It's gonna be good, so let's get in there. All right, so the first thing that's hard to understand about Sea Otter is there's a huge circle, there's people competing over here. There's a bunch of different stands and there's, it's just like brands on brands on brands. Any brand that you have heard of or seen in an advertisement or maybe have like dreamed of like meeting the people behind it, they are here. Um, sometimes it's hard to find because it's pretty densely packed, but wide aisles, lots of people, lots of fun. Later. It's behind me are my people. It's the one, the only NS bikes and they have my full suspension bike, which I'm super stoked about. I'm gonna introduce you guys to it a little bit, but first, you gotta meet some people behind NS bikes. These are good. Good, good dude. First up back here, we got Wojtek. Wojtek, how's it going, man? Ah, no bad, yourself? Good, and I'm saying that right, Wojtek. Wojtek, yeah. Yes, so Wojtek, tell everybody, all my subscribers, what you do at NS and... Yeah, so I'm uh, the marketing marketing guy in NS. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is our first time in Sea Otter, it's awesome. It's your first time here? Yeah. It's my first time here too. Yeah. Well, hey Wojtek, I was telling people about the Define. Yeah. Uh, this is the full suspension bike that's coming, so do you want to talk to us a little bit about the Define and what makes it so cool? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's pop over there. Yeah. All right, here it is. Right Man, it's a, it's a beautiful okay. bike. Yeah, it is. So, uh, that's well, that's good to know because... Um, 140 in the front, 130 in the back. Uh, full carbon frame. Uh, and I this is remember. what I'm super stoked yeah, about, sense, so, uh, is you basically get you, two bikes in one. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, you have a rear shock, and so it's 130 for yeah. the Define 130. Yeah. And then with a different, uh, I guess what you call it, uh, shock mount. Shock mount, right. Yeah, with a different shock mount, it goes to 150. Yeah. You can adjust the travel on your fork, and so you have yeah. two bikes two for bikes the price one. of one. Yeah, exactly. W which mount bikes are expensive. <laughs> so this is like, yeah. once again, a match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, another cool feature is the adjustable reach. Yeah. So you can, you, you know, you can make it shorter or, or longer. So this bike, it, you're gonna see in my videos very soon. I'm super stoked on it. Yeah. Several days later. All right. I saw I saw this thing and I had to ask Wojtek about it because it doesn't quite look enduro, it looks cross country. Wojtek, let us know, what is this? Yeah, that's our new model, it's called the Synonym. Uh, so that's like uh, our uh, first approach to cross country. It's really, you know, something else. Mostly thanks to this, you know, out of this world geometry. We got like 67 head tube angle. 77 C2 Bengal, super long bikes. It's like, you know, it's, it's a rocket, you know, basically. So, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, you know, melting into the down country uh, stuff. Yeah, but it's really, you know, no brands got, you know, such radical geometry as we do at, at the moment. So, uh, yeah. We have too many. Stoked. We have too many cross-country brands trying to make enduro bikes. It's yeah. finally time an enduro yeah. brand made a good cross-country yeah, bike. Yeah, I mean, it's still mountain biking, right? You yeah. need to go fast down the hill and not only fast up the hill, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 12 seconds later. Oh, well, hey, I'm going to keep checking out some other booths, but I'm pretty stoked to be here. And if you guys are at Sea Otter, hopefully you can stop by. Yeah, pop in. Say hi to Wojtek. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, guys, had a great time at the NS Bikes booth. That was super awesome to finally meet those guys. Super, super good dudes in real life. On to FSA. As I found the FSA booth, you can't miss it. Covered in the white with the FSA flags. It's beautiful. And I know my buddy Mike's gonna be over here, so we're gonna go see hi. Say hi. See hi. 
say hi, find him, so. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the FSA booth at Sea Otter. If you guys don't remember, I went and did the tour of FSA, and Mike showed yeah. me around. That was such a good time, man. Yeah, it's great to have you in Michael Teal. Yeah, so if you haven't checked that out, check it out right here. You don't want to miss it. It was a super good video, but uh, how about you show us a little bit of what you guys are showing off today, or sure. what you got going on? Anything yeah. fun for the viewers? Yeah, totally. Uh, right, well, actually, right behind you here is uh, the new American-made carbon Gorilla Gravity Enduro bike. Yes. Complete with the full gradient line. Yeah. Um, that you know you can see up spinning around in Bellingham on a bunch of different people. And, and I see these uh, the gradient carbon wheels. I was just showing to you guys the other day. So that's yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah. So the yeah the 30 mil inner gradient carbon wheel, hookless, four mil offset, super strong race in the EWS. Um, but the cool thing is right here, this is a brand new bar. This is a Sea Otter launch for us. It's the gradient 35 millimeter clamp diameter carbon enduro bar. So it's a 20 mil rise and a 30 mil rise. They all come stock in 800. So you can chop them down to whatever you prefer. But this bar is all the best of both worlds. It's got the strength that you need for it to be reliable and some really rough conditions. But it also has a little bit of uh, damping too, so when you're on longer days, you know, you're not going to feel it in your hands as much as a traditional, uh, you know, aluminum bar. So, yeah, we're really excited about this one and we've got it on all our athletes. I'm actually extremely stoked to see this bar because me and Mike were talking about this behind the scenes in the last video. So, yeah, the thing looks exactly. sick, man. Thanks. Who knows, you might see it soon. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you might. All right, what else you got, Mike? Oh, that looks good. Yeah, so you've actually got one of our SLK carbon modular yep. cranks on one of your bikes. I believe it's the, is it on the enduro bike or the hardtail? It is on the full suspension defined, so it's not on there yet, but it will be on there soon. Awesome. Well, this is the next version, the newest technology. So actually the weight difference between our super light SLK and the K-Force is quite a bit noticeable in your hands right now. So, you know, if you really want to go ultra light weight, you know, maybe for more of a cross country or trail application, definitely check out this K-Force Lite. It fits any bottom bracket. The SLK, this is like the hard working, blue collar, awesome enduro, right all over the country. Any trail you want, this guy can handle it. All right, Mike, I got. I have a question. Yeah. I, this is a really tough question. I saw a machine that looks like a manual machine out front and I've never tried it. So, show me what we got up here, dude. Here, our good friends from Scotland send over, sent over the Sender manual machine. And we've got it here at Sea Otter for everyone to try out. We're gonna have a contest on Sunday and we're gonna give away actually this brand new carbon gradient bar to the person who can do it. I'll give you a little demonstration. You're gonna put me to shame. I can already tell because I've only done normal manuals, not these kind, so. It's a really great way to find your balance point without looping out and crashing. Yes. So we've got a little uh, we've got a little rope down there that won't let you loop out. Yeah. So right now I'm just like hanging out. See what Mike, you want to do. Don't tell them that's cheating Mike. That's what I'm going to do is just hang out back there. It's going to look good. But what you want to do is kind of find it like kind of in the middle. Sometimes it takes a few but you can figure out how to kind of pump and master the manual. If, if you could give it up online right now for that, there would be so much cheering. That was beautiful. Hit the oh. like button. Yeah, hit the like button, leave a comment, say Mike is the man. Because he is. Yeah, All right, yeah. my turn to try. You got to film this. Yeah, let's see. It. Okay. I, I literally have never done a manual machine. So All right, I can tell you right now, you're going to want your butt low, yeah. and you're going to want to pull up harder than you think you have to. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. This is so difficult because you have no momentum. Okay, I got this, Mike. You got, got it. You got it. All right, I'm gonna practice, and hopefully, some other people come over here and win these bars so that they can get better at manually. Does this make you better? I think it does. Oh gosh. All right, guys. Always fun to go hang out with FSA, but you know what? I'm tired of all these bike companies. We need to find some YouTubers. Let's go see who we can find. I'm sure it shouldn't be too hard. One shift later. All right, so the place I knew I was gonna find YouTubers was of course the box tent. And of course you know the man himself is gonna be there. Everybody, it's Moonlight Leatherfoot. What's up, buddy? If you don't recognize Moonlight, Moonlight, you are a reoccurring person on the Biker Channel. Yes, yeah, awesome. And who's here behind me? The man himself. Infamous. Yeah, yeah. It's Robert from Biker. Biker. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and there's yeah. another guy back here. I think you've made a couple of videos on YouTube. I have. Yeah, I dabble. <laughs> Seth, it's awesome to meet you in real life. 
follow Good the long term. Well. Yeah. Seth, I, okay, I, I have one question for you. Sure. Because you and I have something in common. What's that? We love hardtails. We do love hardtails. Seth, do you believe everyone should own a hardtail simply for the fun factor of it? That's my question. I mean, if you can afford to own another bike and you already have a full suspension, I don't think you should get another full suspension. You should probably get a... Before you get other full suspension bikes, you should get a hardtail. Like, that's a... Uh, essential bike for your fleet, let's say. Yeah. And I would say having ridden a lot of different types of hardtails and had a plus hardtail, that's the one to get if you're going to get one. Because if you're moving from full, from full suspension, it's going to take a little bit of the sting out and it's going to be a little bit more of an easier of an adjustment. But you're still going to get the light rear end that you can throw around and you're still going to get that just fun fact. You heard it You heard it from the man himself. Full suspension bike if you've got one bike, but you can afford it. The plus size is where it's at, man. It's always good. Sure. Yeah. And if you're trying to get your first bike and you're trying to stretch your budget out, I'd say get a hardtail first. Heck yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you can afford. Awesome. Thanks, Seth. Good to see you, man. For sure. You too. Have a good weekend. You too. Awesome. All right. He was busy talking, but of course we got Robert here, the one and only biker. Get out there and be one. Sorry, I was drinking. Are you drinking LaCroix? No. Oh. Robert, say hello to everybody. If they don't know who you are, they should by now. What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and this is... Wait, this isn't the Biker Channel. No, this is the Daily Channel. Oh, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and this is the Daily Mountain Biking Channel. I haven't said is that. Is that it? Yeah, that's right. That was that? I have not said this for anybody else, <laughs> but you guys don't realize, I watch very few YouTubers. Robert is one that I always watch. I always jump on the live streams. You gotta check him out. Check him out here. Anyway, Robert, always good to see you, and uh, I'm gonna see what other YouTubers I can find. I'm yeah. sure there's a couple around here. So. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. And look who else I found along the way. Yeah. What's going on, you guys? You guys have totally seen these guys before. Me and Mo totally went on a ride together. Totally. Rad. If you haven't yet subscribed to their channel, you're missing out. Definitely Aw subscribe. Awesome MTV. We got Mo. Woo. Make sure you follow my Instagram and Hannah the Kook, of course. <laughs> you guys are killing it. You guys seriously are. We're trying our best. Yeah. We're living the dream. Hey, Rad. Good to see you guys. Yeah, it was awesome seeing you, dude. I'm sure we'll see you, around. Oh, yeah. Later. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. It was so much fun to check out Sea Otter, see all the YouTubers, see all the awesome tents, and just get a feel of what it's all about. Overall, this is just a great time. It's a bunch of cool people who love mountain biking and are super down to chat and chill and have a good time. So, all right, next video should be my first ever downhill race, which is a hardtail open, and I'm pretty stoked to enter it. You guys know what to do. Don't spend too much time watching my videos on YouTube. Get out there, ride your bike. Make sure you do it every day.